Good morning everyone. So it's like half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. We've packed up the van and we're ready to move on to the next stop because I literally cannot bear to stay in this spot a second longer because as you can probably tell, I have been ravaged by midges. My father warned me about this and we all laughed. I'm not laughing anymore. So apparently the midge count is a lot lower on Sky, Shu tells me, but I don't know if he's lying to me to make me feel better. But it did nothing but rain all last night. Most of our stuff is soaked. So it's not a great start to the day. However, apparently the drive up to Sky is absolutely stunning. So I'm counting on that to cheer me up and a service stop on the way to get a coffee and something to eat. But without further ado, we'll see you in Sky. Or maybe before then actually, because I think we're going to stop off at Fort William. driving for a little bit and we've just passed somewhere called Glencoe we're up in the highlands now look at this I mean it's still grey and raining but it's not bad eh just had a little stop off at a Glencoe Visitor Centre for a cheeky little vegan sarni and a uh, coffee and I uh, had a little look around the Visitor Centre, went to the viewpoint etc. Got ourselves some anti midgy gear. Sorry, just get in the van. So what we got was She said apparently this midgy magic, which is made in Scotland, is very popular and well reviewed. So we got some of that to rub into our limbs. I'm going to put it all over my face, I think. <laughs> and a net to put over our faces each. However, just got ch chatting to the chap at the till, and he was saying, "Oh, they don't really, you don't really get them this up in high up in the Highlands, but that might not be the case in Fort William or." The Isle of Sky, so we're gonna be prepared. But anyway, we're back in the car and we're gonna start heading to Fort William, which is about an hour away from here, but it feels like longer because the roads are really windy. Probably take five minutes if it was direct, but obviously we're in mountain ranges here, so and it's absolutely beautiful. And I feel a bit more chipper now, I've had a coffee and a sandwich, so let's keep cracking. guys we've arrived at Fort William which is at the foot of Ben Nevis the tallest mountain in Great Britain is it? Yeah. Great Britain um, so we're just in town we're gonna have a little wander around see if there's any shops we can get some all-weather gear etc just see if there's anything we need let's have a little look around maybe get some lunch and then we'll be heading on to Sky but let's have a little look
heading back to the van now. That was quite a cute little town. Feels a, a very similar to a, a few places I've been abroad where you come to the end of a through hike or you're at the bottom of a volcano or something. So many like camping stores and uh, like trespass, mountain warehouse, crag hopper. So like when people arrive here ready to climb the mountain, they can stock up on anything they might have forgotten or they hear, oh God, it's really cold at the top and I haven't got a hat, which is an example of what's just happened because I overheard a French lady. She's like, oh, I'm supposed to be climbing it, but I know it's very cold at the top. It's like, yeah, it's going to be cold up there. <laughs> but um, it's literally behind me somewhere, like behind those hills. But it's quite cloudy today, so you can't really see it, unfortunately. But now is the time for us to get back in the van and we're going to start heading up to beautiful sky. I think guys, it is, where am I? There, I think it's through there. Good old Ben Nevis, tallest mountain in the United Kingdom. Let us know if you've climbed it. I'd like to know how it went. Hi guys, so we're finally on the Isle of Skye and we've been driving for, you know, like 15 minutes actually on the island and I'm driving along and the weather's bloody horrible again, it's all grey and rainy and I look over to my right and I see a friggin' huge pod of dolphins frolicking in the water. I managed to capture it on camera but it's so wet and windy and rainy here that I'm not sure the focusing was too perfect but you'll be able to see them. We couldn't quite identify them on shore, so I'm gonna have a really good look at the footage. Stu thinks bottlenose, I'm not so sure. I think probably more likely to be common, but they were having a great time. They were like leaping out. There was quite a few calves. So yeah, been on sky for two minutes and already seen some amazing wildlife. sky. <laughs> it's literally done nothing but bloody rain since yesterday. So we, um, it's not much to see to be honest because it's so grey and rainy like you can't see anything. You can see how misty it is in the background. It is beautiful. Well I wouldn't know Stu. I wouldn't know if it was beautiful. It is beautiful. You must come. So Stu's been here before and he insists that it's beautiful, but obviously I haven't seen it. And real talk, I cannot spend another night cooped up in that van with nowhere to go. It's so sparse out here, there's not really much around. There's no pubs in this town. We're in um, Dunvegan. Our campsite's right on the water, so it's really exposed. There's no like, you've got your basic amenities, but there's nowhere to go and chill out and there's nowhere to hide from the rain. We haven't got an awning yet. We have got an awning, but it's not functioning yet. So when it's raining, me and Stu and all of our belongings are just smushed in the van. And you know, it's just a little T5. It hasn't even got a pop top. And 
I'm just really struggling. Like, I've got a chronic condition. I don't know if you guys know, but I've got fibromyalgia, so I'm driving all day. And all I want to do is relax. And you know, holidays are hard to come by these, these days. I'm always working, whether that be at my job or on Conservation Chat UK. So I never really stop and I just really need to relax. I need some downtime. That's dry, preferably. So we're gonna get off the island tomorrow. I'm gonna drive back through. And we've booked a little Airbnb in Moray. Moray. And like, obviously we're gonna go and stop and see some wildlife and stuff on the way there. But, oh, my shoulder's killing me. I can't even hold the camera up. But yeah, like, I'm just, I just can't. I'm just being really honest. I just can't do it. So we're gonna have a couple of nights off. Um, somewhere a bit more comfortable. Because it's not going to stop raining, like, it's not looking good for us, to be honest. So yeah, I just, I just need something else right now. Um, just passing over to Stu. What a positive update. Hey, look at her all wet. No, so I've been a few times to Sky and it is lovely. And uh, we're on the west side of the island in the northwest, so that it is remote and the idea that we were going to hunt out some wildlife especially sea eagles but luckily we've seen a sea eagle fl fly over the car so we we saw one uh, but the weather forecast is really bleak our next stop was going to be over poor treeway which is a lovely little town it might be city but i think it's a town it's the biggest town on the island which is really really nice there's loads of shops there a bit more comfort there but we were planning on getting a boat trip to go and see the sea eagles but I don't think they'll be running because of the weather, but we've seen one anyway. So, all these oyster catchers in the background. It is a lovely island, but weather, weather permitting really. But again, it's Scotland. We saw a thing on the wall in the visitor centre before. And apparently, over there. oh, curlews, oyster catchers and curlews. That's our campsite behind me now, so you can see just how exposed it is. But we don't know, have some beer, so it'll be all right. Yeah, there's a... I'm just going to drink a bottle of wine and hope that makes it better. But there was a thing on the wall, which uh, Billy Connolly had apparently said. And it said there's two seasons in Scotland, June and winter. And I think today you might be right. But it is, it is a lush place, though, so I do encourage you coming. Uh, but right now we are going to go and get some comfort. But we did see some amazing things. We saw dolphins here, we saw sea eagles here. And uh, yeah, we'd like to have seen some otters. But we've seen them loads of times before, we've been really lucky. Oh yeah, and another thing we've seen on the way in was actually a dead pie martin on the road, which was quite grim. But anyway, enough of our waffling. And uh, we'll probably have some of the scenic stuff tomorrow while on the drive out. Yeah. You would have seen all the beautiful parts of this anyway, because that's what's happened before now. But just wanted to be really honest and say, I can't hack this in this weather. We need an awning to expand our inside space. Everything got soaked yesterday, like our chairs, everything, our towels. Like, there's not much that we own right now that isn't wet and we've got nowhere to dry it. So that's me done in, I'm afraid. So uh, goodbye to the Isle of Skye. Just another quick thing that I didn't mention before is I've been scouring Sky so that we can stay on it for somewhere to stay that's indoors, like a B&B or a hotel room or an Airbnb or something. There's literally sweet Ethel, there's nothing. And it's not much better further afield, like there's nothing anywhere. Everything's fully booked. There's nothing anywhere apart from I lucked out and found two nights in Moray in a, in a lovely little like converted summer house type thing it's got a hot tub and a double bed and a bathroom and a roof somewhere to sit other than on your bed <laughs> so that's why we're going so far away from Sky and not staying for the day because I just, just can't do it that's not the reason we're going so far away from the Sky the reason is 
we've uh, planned a route where we're going over tomorrow because they've got loads of dolphins there. So we're going to a place called Lozzy Mouth, which is on Murray. Uh, this is where this accommodation is, but it's something where we were going to go anyway. And we're going to head over to Spay Bay, where there's a whale and dolphin uh, conservation like little centre, like an education centre. But there's also uh, usually ospreys on the river Spay there. So I'm going to film a nature diaries there, so that, that'll be a... Should be good if we see some ospreys. And then what we'll do after a couple of days, we're going to head over only a short distance from where we are staying. Just closing the gate, keep the mew cows in. Um, to the Murray Firth in Inverness. And we're going to find the dolphins there. And uh, Laura will well be smiling when she sees them. So remember this face here. Uh, I'll wait for the smile. I'm always ribbing her. Just a little top tip as well, I'm a vegan, so we're right out on the west side again. So there's not many restaurants here, but I was quite grateful that every one of them had a vegan option. You know, some of them only had one vegan option. But just be aware, let's get out of the room. If you are vegan and traveling this side, a lot of the restaurants uh, ask for like 24 hour notice. So we just went in a little pizza and burger place and they had vegan cheese and no notice was required but before that we tried to go in a restaurant which was fully booked but they required 24 hour notice and then we saw another restaurant uh, which had one vegan option but again 24 hour notice so no doubt in bigger places like Pud Petrie I guess I said that right they probably have ready to go options but just plan ahead if you are eating out and if you are vegan or vegetarian as well I think one of the restaurants was saying vegetarians 24 hour notice. So this is it guys, this is our campsite and you can see it's right on the water so it's pretty exposed. I'll show you where we're actually parked up in a sec. So this is it guys, this is where we are see we're right on the water but we're as far back as you can go really on the site and we're pretty much as far away from the toilets as you can possibly get to so yeah back in the van and as you can see I mean I'm sure tomorrow morning when I open the doors I'll be like oh that's lovely but it'll still be raining <laughs> so we're just gonna chill in here watch some stranger things because we're watching season one again um, and I'm going to drink some wine and we're going to get up early and get out of here and just go and find a bit of comfort for a couple of days. Um, so yeah. to the conclusion that this island is not called sky for any other reason than because you feel like you're in the sky because there's just cloud and rain everywhere good morning it's raining what a surprise it's just sod's law so I don't know when you'll be watching this, but this is literally a week after two weeks of intense heat, dry forest fire. <laughs> like, I'm not laughing because of forest fires, but it was ridiculously hot. And now it's like complete opposite. It's cold, it's wet, it's windy. It's like autumn. And I, I've obviously not spent much time in Scotland. But this is not fun. Like... How do people live in their vans full time in the UK with weather like this? I mean, they've probably got more space than us. They've probably got an awning. I don't know. I, I just want to get out of here. It's really early. It's quarter to eight. We've packed up in the peeing rain. 
we're going to head off the island. We're an hour away from the bridge and then we've got another two hours to get to our ho hostel destination, our Airbnb. But on the way, she wants to go to Loch Ness and to see the dolphins, wherever that is, I can't remember. Uh, Spay Bay, I think it's called. So we're going to start heading that way. Probably not going to film any B-roll because my camera's on its last legs and I don't want to waste any battery. I want to save it all for the, the dolphins, ideally. So yeah, come along with us in the rain. So we briefly stopped off in Inverness because she wanted to look out over the, uh, I suppose it's like a river. I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> to look at dolphins. And now we're at Spay Bay, which has actually got a dolphin center and ospreys use the area as well apparently so we've got the camera and we're gonna have a little walk i think maybe spend a bit of time on the beach fingers crossed we might see some cetaceans or an osprey or something interesting would be nice and hopefully it won't rain now fortunately i don't want to curse myself anymore than i already am but it's stopped raining for a minute so I'm really enjoying just being dry on a beach. I've been driving around all day, but um, our next stop will be the Airbnb, but it's nice to have a bit of breeze. It's getting really hot. When it's not raining, it's really hot. And when it's raining, it's really cold and wet. So it's nice to have a bit of dry, cool breeze, some beautiful views. And I always feel better when I'm by the coast. We've just seen a common seal, which is nice. Got a bit of footage of that one. There's terns flying around. There's some weird duck things that I can't identify until I look at the footage. Um, but yeah, I think me and Stu are going to have to do a running total of species that we've seen on this trip. Mainly all that I've spotted. But uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll give you a little list later on. But um, we're just going to have a little wander around now. I think we're going to check out the, uh, the centre here, the dolphin centre. But if you want to know more about dolphins and stuff specifically, Stu's going to do a nature diaries about it, so make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss it. Look how white this pebble is. Makes my hands look really pink. Some bottlenose dolphins so I'm happy that certainly cheered me up they're really dark really beautiful quite far away but I hopefully got some footage on my camera but the viewfinder screen on my camera stopped working for some reason and it did get wet earlier and yesterday and it's been a bit funky since yesterday so I'm really really hoping that it just needs to dry out and it'll be all right because it makes it a bit difficult to film if I'm squinting through the little viewfinder. But um, yeah, glad that we saw some. So we've seen common seal and a pod of bottlenose dolphins. And now we're gonna, Stu's taking me on a walk to hopefully find some ospreys. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. And if I got some decent footage, I'll input the bottlenose dolphins here.